Here we go, here we go. Fight. On. Big it. Yep. Big it. Yes, finally. I got a big fish on, guys. Big one. Oh, big steel head coming at me. Yep. Got him. Got him. Oh, big one. Big brown. Big brown. Biggin. Biggin. Yeah, that's a big fish. All right, guys. So this week's video is on float fishing. You know about float fishing? You know what I'm talking about? Not a bobber. A float. A float right here. We're going to be float fishing. Tiny spawn sacks. Rope. Throw it out. Just watch it go down the river. The key is when it just makes that little bit of movement, you run in the water and grab it and rip it off. So, on a serious note, Tony, you need to stop laughing back there. On a serious note, guys, so this week's video, I'm going with my man Tony and I'm breaking rods. I want to go over the gear, right? A lot of people always ask me, well, what sort of rod are you using? What type of gear are you using? For steelhead fishing if you're going to get into steelhead fishing this is a lama glass steelhead rod it's like a 10 I, i'd recommend anywhere from a 9 to 10 6 steelhead rod um that's what i'm using i when the when it's really cold like we had a big cold front that's coming through tonight into tomorrow so it's going to be 22 23 degrees i'm going to go with straight mono for line when it's warmer i'll use braid to a fluorocarbon leader and then uh, probably spawn sacks or beads. I'll be using an eight pound test fluorocarbon leader, maybe six pound if I need to size down because uh, the water's really clear and low and tough conditions. Couple of split shots I have here. Two way swivel, eight pound test leader. Main line is uh, eight or 10 with just a six gram float shot here. And then just some floats and that's it. So going to be using spawn, uh, maybe beads, you can use a tube jig, you can use wax worms, and uh, just going to be float fishing. Get yourself some waders, stay warm. Here we go, this week's video, float fishing my hometown in tough cold front conditions for big trout. Let's roll. Well, we are here at the Milwaukee River. It's fall time. The river is super low, super clear. It's a Monday, right after a weekend. Probably the toughest conditions. And you want to talk about tough, guys? I'm having a damn tough time right now. Just putting on my new waders. See, I put on all these extra pairs of sweatpants underneath here. And I thought I'd fatten up by eating a couple extra raviolis and donuts, as you know me. You can see, no one likes a skinny Santa. And, uh, well, I'm paying the price. Just trying to get these on quick question for you ma'am do these do these waders right here they look a little too tight on my backside or are they okay they look fine, they look fine? Yeah, I, I just know. don't want anything over appealing you know what I'm saying to send the wrong message that's tight and because I'm just fishing I'm not trying to show you know like flex and well I'm more so just worried about when people walk by and see me, you know, they're going to just stare. So, all right, we're going to go do a video. We'll see you. Here we go, guys. Here we go. This is how we shoot a good video? This is how we shoot a yes, good video. Yes, we bring bags got, of tackle, a few, a few extra rods, a few cameras, a right? Let's all right, let's roll. We got cold front conditions. It is chilly. Woo. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful steelhead of Oz. Because, 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 I want my float to go down. I love that. I love your motivation in the morning. I don't know why my girls, they wake up and they're just, I'm, I, I irritate them. I'm a morning person. <laughs> Woo, it is chilly, guys. Now, there's a couple of baits you can start off with. The easiest one is if you don't have spawn, um, is uh, just a bead or a double bead rig. Um, we've done some videos talking about beads. We may fish beads today, but I've done well or better in conditions like today when it's brutally cold um, with uh, spawn. It just seems like those fish are a little bit fussier and picky. So my rig is just a, a little spawn bag, a Gamagatsu, number 10 or number eight octopus hook, eight pound test fluorocarbon here, a couple of shots. 
And then I've just got like a six millimeter float here, another shot up top, a two-way swivel there. Uh, pretty simple. You can use a center pin here. You can use uh, a regular traditional uh, spinning rod. A lot of guys, you know, always say, well, how come you're not fishing a center pin? Um, really, it's because, to be honest with you, I, I prefer a, a spinning rod for float fishing. I, I, I'm just more comfortable with it. Uh, I fish with my buddies that have center pins, and I catch just as many fish as they do, so I like it. So um, the center pin works really well in big rivers where you're making long runs, but here you don't even really need it. So we're going to get rolling. Here we go. The first drift for me on the fall. This is my first time on the river this fall. See what happens. One eternity later. Woo! Today has been a grind. 23 degrees out, super cold, crystal clear, low, the lowest I've seen the river. I'm gonna be happy really if we could just catch one or two fish. This is the reason why, like when I've guided here under these conditions, I choose to vacate the river. A lot of times when it's super low and clear, you can scrap off a one or two fish. There goes my GoPro, it's dying. But what we're gonna do, the bite is dying here too. We're gonna end up moving. We're just gonna keep moving from spot to spot. Start here, fished here a half hour, had a couple bites, probably small little stockers. So we're just gonna keep moving. That's the name of the game. Look at that, Fron the little spawn sack is frozen. I can't even talk, I, my brain is frozen and the bite is frozen. Maybe we should go and inside today and just go watch the movie Frozen. What do you think, Tony? I knew you were gonna be up for that. I wanna do a steelhead video, Tony wants to watch Frozen. Uh, uh, can I do it, Tony? I don't know. Uh, uh. All right, new spot. Hopefully we get a few bites here, otherwise we're just gonna keep moving. It's more of a wintering, real slow hole here. So we'll see, there's not much current. Give it about a half hour, 45 minutes in every spot. If we don't get bit, we move. Oh wee. Here we go. Just keep moving. We've, uh, we've had a couple bites so far, but it's tough. It is tough, so see what happens. That's the name of the game though. Low, clear water, tough conditions. Fish your tail outs, fish your fast water, move. 15, 20, 30 minutes, move. Should go down right at this tail out right here. There we go, here we go. Bite. On, biggin. Yep. Biggin. Yes, finally. Finally. All right, at the tail out right where he should be. The name of the game is just move, move, move. There we go. Brown, maybe? Yep, nice brown. All right, fish number one. I'm gonna grab my net. You wanna grab me that real quick? All right, we're on the board, Tony. I told you we weren't gonna get skunked. I told you, Tony, we just gotta keep moving. Okay. Stay out of here. All right, it ain't that big. Nice brown though. Fish number one. If I can, if I can get him. That's it, Tony. We're on the board. I'm gonna fall in here. Ah, ah. First one of the day. Spawned out. See for Ellen Brown. Gonna get her back. See you later, mama. That's cool. All right. Tough bite. Fish number one. Spent 15, 20 minutes in one spot, 30 minutes in another spot, 30 minutes. Had a few takedowns. Came to this tailout. A tailout's where slow water next down into faster water, so it kind of speeds up at that tailout. Tailouts, bridges, faster, deeper water when it's tough. So. On the board. Come on, go down. Can't we get rewarded on a tough, tough? Said I want to get rewarded. Just one or two fish in every spot. Seems like one fish in every other spot. Whoo wee!
There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yes. Yes. I got rewarded. Yes. Big and big and giant. Giant. It's a giant brown. Or, or is it a king? It's a freaking. Oh, it's a king. Are you kidding me? It's a king. Oh, it just came off. It was a king. It's a big king. Big old nasty king eating a spawn bag. Beautiful. I thought it was like a giant brown at first. Yeah. You know? Kings eating spawn bags. That's kind of cool. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was a bite. That was a bite. All right. I think a lot of them are small. They're just little guys chewing on it. Oh, got him. Little one. But it's a fish. It's a fish. On a tough bite, I just missed a salmon. And now I got a little jack. I'll take it. You little skipper. Yes, sir. Nice little steelhead. Come here. There he is. Nice little steelhead. Pink spawn bag. All right, buddy. Go get your daddy or your fat mama. See you later, you little squirt. Go back to the daycare. All right, well, that's another fish. On a tough bite, we're pecking away, one at a time. Hey, we wanted one fish per spot, one salmon, one steelhead. That's not bad on a tough bite. We're gonna try one more spawn bag here. Give it about five or 10 more minutes and then we're gonna just keep moving up the river. Keep moving, that's the name of the game. Yep, come on. Oh. Yep, got him, that's a good one, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Yes, I think that's a brown. Yes, yes, yes. A little twisted up. Oh, nice, beautiful brown. Beautiful brown. Yes. Big buck male. Hell yes. Big brown. My float's all twisted up. Just put a, put a new spawn bag on. Hell yeah. We're talking about a meat down beat down, I think. We're slowly getting it done, guys. Slowly getting it done. Tony can hang out today for a half a day. And then he's gotta leave. He's gotta go back to work. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Yeah, dude, look. Look at the colors of it. It's amazing looking. Look at it, look, look. Oh, I know, dude, it's such a, I know, I know. Oh, come here, please, we just want a quick picture. Please, please, oh, please stay. No, 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 no. Oh, look at how my float's wrapped up too. Come on, I'm going out to get him. We're going out for him. Come here. No, 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 please. Come here, Tony, we got him. Oh, yes. Oh, man. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Tony, you're not gonna believe how great this fish looks. All right, guys, so here's the deal. So we started downriver. We fished like 15, 20 minutes in each spot and we didn't get any bites. We moved up river, picked up one fish, came here, caught three now. Well, caught two, missed one. So we're just gonna keep moving because a lot of run and gun. Tony can fish with me today or film with me today. He's out here, thank you, Tony, filming and trying to get some float drops. He can only film with me for half the day and then I'm gonna probably come, I'm gonna, say goodbye to Tony and film the rest by myself. I'm gonna keep fishing. Tony's gonna keep filming. We're gonna hopefully put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down. Take a look at this brown trout, you guys. Woo! All right, guys, look at this fish. Look at this beautiful fish. That is a buck kiped up male. They don't get any prettier in that Great Lakes run. I'm gonna get that bad boy back. What a beautiful big fish. There he goes. Oh, yes, yes. It is so cold out here, but it's so rewarding. I mean, to come out here in tough conditions, 
and catch one fish like that. That's why you come to these Great Lake trips, the Root River in Racine, the Milwaukee River here in Milwaukee, the Sheboygan River is probably the whole the best river in the entire state for browns and steelhead, but you can hit all these trips in the fall after every rain and be ready to catch browns and steelhead. We're gonna just keep moving. Here we go. Yes! First drift through the hole. A lot of times you get bit right away on the first five drifts, I'd say. I'm gonna cover a different spot every time. I'll kind of work, I'm working kind of close to me right now. Inside, I would say. Then I'll work my way out. Boy, this water is low and clear. She is low and clear. Here we go. Oh, yep. Here we go. Eat it. Come on. Yep. Got him. Got him. Oh, big one. Big brown. Big brown. Biggin'. Biggin'. Yeah, that's a big fish. Big fish. Stay out of there. I'm going out to get her. Going out to get her. Come here, mama. Come here. Don't you dare go down river. Big hen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We worked hard for this fish. Oh, yeah. Real nice fish. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me just get her right up on shore here. Grab her by the tail. Oh, yeah. We don't need a net for big mamas. Yes. Yes. Look at this. Awesome, this so awesome. World class big browns float fishing right here out of Milwaukee. Tough conditions, the lowest conditions, some of the lowest, toughest conditions I've fished, but we're still banging them out. I'm gonna get that fish unhooked real quick and get her back. Guys, please forgive me. I am a potato. Once again, my GoPro was not recording. I think Tony got it, but. My chesty I had, I had off, so let me turn that on. It's on now. I just turned it's, you turned it on for me? Now you just turned it off. Yeah, well that's my life in a nutshell. There you go. That was really cool. It would have been more cool, Tony, if I could somehow to remember to push that button when I come to a new spot. So you can see me hooking the fish, right? That's kind of... We are filming a video, so... Guys, I uh, three quarters potato, one quarter uh, tomato is my brain. Uh, I'm fine. It's dead. It's dead. Give me the net. Give me the net. Hurry up. Give me the net. Give me the net. Well, it's going to try landing right here. Get ready to catch. Uh, what's going on? Huh? Oh yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here, here net. Ah, uh, wait, wait. Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Bend down a little lower so it comes lower. We're good. Hold on. It's about to land. Okay. I'm grabbing this net just in case. No, hold on. It's going to land. All right. It thinks my hand is a landing. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Yup. 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 
you. <laughs> we, we got, got it. it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. We got it. Oh, all right. And today's video <laughs> is not only about it's not only about how to catch tough conditions for steelhead. It's tough. What do we not do? Charge the controller. Woo! Wow. That was almost three thousand dollars gone. Wow. What we do to try to make a YouTube video. All right, guys. We are gonna have to let Tony leave depart from the rest of the day Tony's it's been a really we've caught a couple of fish we've been grinding it out tough conditions talked to a few other guys have been struggling the river is tough right now so I'm happy we caught a couple fish Tony thanks for coming out here I'm gonna go and try to video for another hour or two by myself and um, we'll see if I can catch one or two more fish but it's a grind thanks for sticking it out Tony and uh, Tony's got to go to work so um, he works at Goodwill. He's a janitor there and um, third shift. So we'll see you later, Tony. All right, guys. Like I said, before my battery just died on the GoPro, I am going to, we're going to wrap up this week's video. I got Tony from the Wisconsin Angler. Follow him on his Instagram and his Facebook page. Yo, are you ready to go and uh, have the best taco truck in Milwaukee? I don't know. I know you've never been here. El Tapatio, right down from North Ave, right down from where we're fishing. So if you guys ever come here, come to this Milwaukee River to fish. One of the areas we fish is by North Avenue. One mile south of North Avenue, the next bridge right down here. This taco truck is always here. And this man is about to fill his McScrillet with some tacos. Are you being serious? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go. You know what? Yeah, we're just here downtown Milwaukee right now doing a little corporate shoot um, for our Bank of America, kind of just like <laughs> no more. trendy stuff, you know. Ready, tacos? Tacos, tacos. Look out, look out. Oh, yeah, we're going to like that. I've never had it. Doing we're a doing a YouTube shoot. video, and you're in it. Oh, wow. Why do you need a video for what? Oh, well, we're just doing a video on, since we can't catch any fish, we figured we'd do a video on just how to eat tacos. good apparel, how to eat tacos, and just meeting people, Better. meet and greet, you know? Yeah. What else? That you know? Like Talk yeah. about, yeah. Well, you know, yeah. thank you. Like nice meeting you. Okay, we'll yeah. see you around. Uh, anything else you want to add to that? Uh, are we done? I, I think we're, we're done. <laughs> we're done. All right, we're done. Shit. Let's go get your drone registered so we don't let's crash. Let's go get it. our drone registered. I like that. All right, let's go ice fishing soon. Yes, ice I'm ready. fishing soon. I'm so ready. Hoping for one, one more fish. One more fish. Got a little bit of ice here. It's chilly. A lot of times they like to sit in the shade here, so the fish will. Especially when the water's clear and low. Bridges are good. But shade, they like that shade. Oh, 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 come on. Got him, yes. Got him, got him, got him. Big fish, big fish. Yes, yes. Six pound test, I went down to six pound test, guys. I got ice in front of me right now. Oh man, big fish, big fish. I'm gonna break the ice. We're going in. We're going in. Yes, 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 yes. Tony had to leave. Let's break this ice. Let's break it. All right. Yes, okay, okay. Oh no, we gotta go around. The ice is going under. Ah, we got an ice flow by our big fish. What is this, a big brown? I think it's a big buck brown, guys. I think it's a big buck brown. It's right underneath this ice flow right here, coming at me. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's a nice steel, guys. Nice, beautiful steelhead. Beautiful buck steelhead. Look at the colors of this male steelhead. Oh, it's a double bander. Oh, look at this steelhead, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Yes, what a way to wrap up the day. A big steelhead on a tough bite. Where's the net? The net's up there. The net's up there. Okay. 
We gotta go get the net. We gotta get the net. Ah! 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 Stay on! Stay on! Why did I not have the net here? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't expect to catch anything. Oh! Stay on. Yes, yeah, so I got six pound test. The water's so low and clear. I went to six pound. If I would have had the net here right away, I could have netted him right away. Oh, I got ice in the net. Good Lord, come on, come on. Ice on my line, stay, stay. Just get him up to the top. Such a pretty fish. Such a pretty fish. Come here. Look at the colors of this fish, you guys. Oh, come here. Yes, yes, yes. Unbelievable. Caught an, I didn't catch a lot of fish today, but I caught some beautiful fish. Look at this double bander male. Oh my God. Wow. Unbelievable. All right, guys, I'm going to grab this fish, let you take a look at him, and just take a look at how beautiful this fish is. Look at that. Just a beautiful big buck steelhead. All right, I'm going to get him back. There he goes. See you later, buddy. Switch my batteries up. I just switched up my batteries. Damn it. Damn it. Always happens to me, Tony. My battery died and my float went down. I got a big fish on, guys. Big one. Oh, big steelhead coming at me. No, no, no. Get away from this tree. Get away from. Oh, he's out of the water. Yes, yes. Yes, this is the one I wanted. Big steel. Big steel. Big steel. Let's freaking go, guys. Let's go. No, 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 no. Get, get out of there. Get out of there. No, no, no. We don't want him in a tree. Yes, guys. Let's freaking go. It always happens. I'm changing up my... God, I don't want him by this tree. No, 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 no. Get away from this tree. Get away from this tree. Ah, get away from this tree. I'm up to the top of my waders. No, 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 no. Come out here. Come out here. Look at this. I'm up to the top of my waders. I'm just trying to get this fish out away. Here we go. Here we go. Oh crap, I'm in. Gotta take care of my phone. Sh it's all wet. Damn it. Got my phone. Oh, Grab the net. I think I got this. Big steel, guys. Big steel. Big steel. Big fish. Six pound test. Big steelhead. No, 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 no. Here she comes running at me. Running at me, come on. No, 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 get away from that tree. No, no, no. Stay away from these trees. Stay away. Steelhead, man, they just always head for those damn trees. It's almost like they know. There's another tree here. I only got six pound test. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Look at this, they go all of a sudden. Get away from this tree. No, 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 no. No, I don't want this fish in this big tree right here. All right, guys, take a look at this beautiful big giant steelhead. Look at this big, beautiful fish. I'm trying not to bang his head. Look at this big fish. Big giant male. All right, I'm going to get this big fish back, guys. Just don't want to bang their heads. You want to be real easy on them. They're such an amazing, beautiful, big fish. You can catch them here in these tributaries. That's a world-class steelhead right there. There he goes. See you later, big dog. All right, there he goes. Well, guys. I came down, ice is actually forming on the river. I went to lighter line, I went to six pound test, smaller spawn sacks, finally started getting bites. Tony had to leave, I ended up wrapping up the day where we started earlier, came back here, caught a couple fish, just got a call. 
from my man Cal who shot a giant buck. Cal just shot a giant buck, so I gotta get going. Go help him drag it out. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button as well. That way you're gonna be notified every time we crank out a new video every single week and leave me a comment. Have you ever steelhead fish? Do you like steelhead fishing? If not, make sure you try it out. All right, I gotta roll. See ya.